flexi rod set on my hair so if all you want to follow along with me these are the two flexi rods that i'm going to be using the orange and the purple one i'm going to try to link it in my description box so all you can check it out this blowout is from my previous video of my natural hair i blow dried and trimmed my natural hair i'm going to have it in the eye above on your right hand side so y'all can check it out i'm just going to take that out and then comb my hair out I thought I was gonna wear my hair in a braid out, but braid out is just not for me. I could just see my hair tangling and I don't have time to be detangling my hair because I come in and behave like a stupidy. That don't even look nice. So I'm going in with my Tropic Touches oil. I do have this oil on my website. You guys can shop it. I will have the links in my description box to everything in this video. I just put it out like a bit in my scalp so my scalp could be somewhat stimulated moisturized something it needs some tlc so i'm just massaging i just braid up two braids in the front because i'm doing my hair in full sections this is my first time trying to do a pure flexi rod set without the flat twist section that out of the way and let's move on to our first section All right, so just comb that out. My hair has been braided for four days and this is all the shedding that I got from that one section. And I'm going to start off by doing the bottom area. So guys, this is my first time doing this, so this is a little trial and error. I'm using this Cryo leave-in conditioner. I wanted to test out this brand. This is a black owned business. This is my mom's deep conditioning butter. I'm gonna seal that leave-in conditioner with that. And I'm going to use Erica J's Fluffy Stuff Styling Foam as my styler. Go in with a little spritz of water. Massage that in. Spritz some more on your ends because your ends are toasty. And then put some in your leave-in conditioner. I actually like that leave-in conditioner. It's very thick. As you can see, you need the smallest amount for the small section. I think they have one for um, low porosity here too, so I'm not being sponsored. They did not send me this. I pay for it with my own money. I don't know why I have to put that disclaimer because I'm not even popping like that. And I'm using my favorite Erica J Fluffy Stuff. It smells like candy. If you watch my wig videos, you already know. It smells like candy. I really like it. I like how it made my hair come out. I'm going to get some more just to do hairstyle like that. And I feel like stretch flexi rod set is a good thing for the summertime because your hair already stretched so you're not going to get poofy. That thing really gave me problems. And I was so close to giving up because I'm like, I don't like things stress me out and that was really stressing me out. I already have gray hair and that thing trying to give me more gray hair. So are they doing trial and error? Comment down below and tell me if you find this easy, if you ever tried flexi rod sets before. I don't know, that thing, mm -mm. I like to do my flat twist and then the flexi rods at the end. I feel like that does make my life 10 times easier. I don't think I would never do it like this again. That thing hardy making my roots puffy, all kind of extra thing. I don't have time for that. And low key, I did doing this and I just had a feeling it was going to come out like an epic fail, but it actually come out nice as you've seen in my intro. So I'm really happy about that. my hair really showing out but i will do a video maybe 
uh this weekend i will do a video showing you guys how i just color back my hair because i just had to color my, the ends of my hair because it's still burgundy and my burgundy does peek through after the color washer so i don't like it looking like a dirty brown at the end so yeah i just showing you guys a little bit more because i already did the back and now i'm doing the front hold up hold up all the men that she's ever encountered have proved to be cowards misused and abused her and bruised her with power uh, now her doubts get louder and all her desire i'm using the purple ones more to the front because it's smaller so it's going to be more defined and just wrap that up I don't know why I'm playing like this is a tutorial. This is basically all of just watching me try to do this type of pomade set for the first time because normally I just put my pomade set at the bottom of my twist like I will do it like this and now put it in the bottom just like that and leave it so and that does make it so easier. If you know how to do flat twist then I recommend doing flat twist with the pomades at the end but if you want to try out doing that your roots go be poofy. That is just I don't know I don't like that. And love believes in us Yes, 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 yes In the streets up and wide There's a guy who's just trying to get by Nine to five, seven dope on the side But his son turning one money grams Every first of the month for his mom Baby mom's always calling with problems Plus his brother in Harlem Just got killed a drug deal it's so crazy because I feel like when I do my voiceovers in the morning, I doesn't have to think mad hard about how I speak because I was talking my Grenadian accent. I was talking my Grenadian accent, Grenadian accent when I'm at home or like if I'm speaking to my friends. So, well, my Grenada friends. <laughs> but besides that, I just make sure like I speak proper because I know sometimes if I say certain words like make it so thing like that some people doesn't understand and i don't like to have to explain myself to people so i just feel like me speaking proper would be best for everybody you know i'm spraying some heat protectant and i'm gonna sit under the dryer for 30 minutes and then i'm done y'all see me i look so hot i was under the dryer for a minute it was burning me but this came out really good like really good like look at that of the oil so I can have something coated on my hands because I don't want to um, mess the curls up because my hands are dry so I'm just using the oil so I can have some moisturizing slip on my hands while I separate these curls and you can kind of see the curls separate by themselves so it makes my life 10 times easier That video was really quick and easy, even though it's quick and easy for all to watch. But it take me like a good, what, well, two hours because I did sit down under the file like a while and I did twisting up that. Maybe take like an hour and a half for me to do that whole hairstyle. But I really like how it turned out. If you see my haul video, this is how my hair was. So this is right before I do my haul. I spray some water right there so my hair could um puff back up in the roots because it was too long down and I wanted it to match the other side and give me some more volume because I don't really care for the length per se I just want more volume for it to be big so I was just spraying some water so you could kind of shrink up a little bit And the flat twist on the side of my head was because I cut my hair. If you watch me blow dry and trim my hair, you will see that I cut off the front area on both sides of my head. And this is it. So after I'm done separating the curls, you can see they're looking poofy or nothing because I use the butter and everything to keep it moisturized and in place so it's not frizzy. 
Then I'm going to use my pick to pick this hair out because I want some big hair. You can see these bangs are too long. I'm picking out the hair. I got my pick from my beauty store like a couple years ago. So I just turn my hair over and I pick it so it can have more volume because I like my hair to be voluminous at the top. I even think I want to cut my hair into a shape because I really love a heart shape type of look. But my hair just be falling over and I don't know. I just try my best to do a heart shape. And this is it. This is the end look. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me know if this video was helpful. This was my first attempt doing a permarat set on stretched natural hair. I normally do the twist. If you guys want to see a video again of how I do my um, flat twist um, permarat, I will link it up in the eye above so you guys can check it out. If you want a more detailed one, leave me a comment down below so I will definitely make that for you. Thank you guys for supporting me. I love you and I appreciate you. And I will definitely see you in my next video. I want to be more consistent. Let me know if you guys are liking the natural hair video. And I got y'all. Bye.